All right, so I got another video for you today. I am on the hunt, and you may be asking yourself, what am I on the hunt for? Great question, let me answer that in two ways. One, really just one way. I'm on the hunt for Pennsylvania's native, uh, native state fish, the brook trout. We are right now in the mountains of South Central Pennsylvania, not gonna name drop, Relax, guys. I'm not gonna name drop the stream that I'm going to. It is a nice headwater stream. In the past, I've caught uh, brook trout up to really like eight, nine, 10 inches, which is really good for non-stocked uh, PA native brook trout. So we're gonna try some fly fishing today. We got a ton of rain last night. I'm hoping that the stream isn't completely blown out. Let me get out there. We're on the hunt for some uh, brookies and hopefully we can get some into the net. We'll see how it goes. All right, so just made it down to the stream. Even after a ton of rain last night, water's not too high, but I actually really like how it's looking right now. So this is gonna be great. As you can see, a nice medium-sized mountainous freestone stream. We're getting up to the first really nice looking stretch. Starting out with just a small sized Prince Nymph. I am seeing some bug activity on the water. So like I said, if I start seeing fish popping, I will absolutely switch. But I wanna see if I can get some subsurface activity potentially. Just got a fish. Ooh, good looking brookie. Good looking brookie. Let's get him in the net here. Good looking brookie. Let's try to get him in the net before he sneaks away. Oh, let's get him in the net. Oh, that's a nice brookie. That's a nice little brookie, not bad, not bad. Probably about six or seven inches, that's sick. All right, let's get the hook at him and take a look at him, awesome. So by no means the giant that we're looking for, but this is a, at least in Pennsylvania, this is probably a keeper. I'd say he's at least seven inches. Nice, nice healthy size too, like he's eating well. Um, we're gonna get him right out of here. He is really chomping at the bit. Got him on the fly rod. Hold on, bud, hold on, bud. Bro, 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 we'll get you out of here. We'll get you out of here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, all right, he's out of here. I apologize for that. All right, so very promising start. That was uh, definitely within the first like 10 minutes. Um, so that's excellent. He hit the small Prince Nymph, which is good to know. Um, I know these mountain native brookies are some of the easier to catch in the sense that, um, you know, matching the hatch or getting real crazy with uh, the different flies you're using isn't quite as necessary as with other types of fish, especially on these smaller streams. Um, but that's great. So cool little success story, again, without name dropping this stream is that this section essentially used to be like a dead stream. Really no fish life, a lot of acid mine drainage and you know, a lot of those extraction related historical issues um but i think like 15 or 20 years ago they started doing like crushed up limestone diversion type stuff and it's really bounced back i mean this is a very under the radar stream hence why i'm not naming it oh come on don't get stuck on yourself i'm sorry i keep missing these what a scrub got another brookie on here on the fly rod super ethical see if we can get him up here to the net Oh, get him. All right. Oh, beautiful colors. Be more beautifully colored than the last one. So let's get the hook at him. We'll take a look at him. Awesome. All right. So we just got another absolutely gorgeous fish. Colors on this one are a little bit better. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's get him out of here. All right. So we just got brookie number two. Again, my apologies for not getting it on camera. Definitely a scrub scrub loser move but uh you know that happens that does happen i just try to conserve so i'm continuing to work my way upstream there were reports of tea storms rolling in this way it was like 30 percent so i figured you know I, I like those odds those are those are good odds like over there it's like bright blue beautiful and then over here it's looking a little a little questionable i'd say Just got up to a really nice big open pool. So we're gonna try to work this piece by piece, so to speak. Good cast. 
That was a good cast. Oh, got one. Got one. Got one. Little guy. Little guy. Little guy. Just gonna bring him in nice and gingerly. Nice and gingerly. Huh. Looking good, but we might not even net this guy. He's a little on the small side. He's a little on the small side. Wet my hands. Hands are soaking wet. Hands are sopping wet. Nice little brookie. Nice little brookie. Let's get him out of here. Get out of here, bud. Get out of here. Because this is a really deep hole, honestly. So, trying to really pinpoint. That was a good cast. Trying to pinpoint where I'm casting this. Keep looking around my, my uh, shoulder. I like, I have this irrational fear that someone's just gonna be like standing right behind me watching. And they're gonna be like, oh, this guy's just like talking to himself. What a, what a weirdo, you know? And if you have any level of self-awareness, you would feel the same thing as well. I don't think there's anybody back there. I promise, I am trying to get these on camera. I promise, what do we got here, boys? What do we got here, boys? Oh, this is a hard fighting fish. Dang, son. I do not know what this is, but he is fighting really hard. I don't think he's big, necessarily, but he's really... Oh, that's a good looking brookie. It's good, like, five or six inch brookie. Let's get him over here. All right, let's get the hook out of him. Take a look at him. Awesome. Really nice. Actually, that's a pretty solid fish. You know what? Let's just get the hook right out of him. Awesome. Awesome. All right, so... Another beauty. I love that this is our state fish here in Pennsylvania. Beautiful fish. I mean, look at the yellows, the oranges, the halos. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Really nice, really nice fish. We'll get him out of here. Get out of here, bud. Get out of here. All right, so we got some, we got some hot, juicy action uh, going on right now. And really the goal now is to just like plop it directly into their mouth, just plop it in their mouth as my dad would say. Um, and really, that axiom can be applied to life generally. Just, you know, when times get tough, just plop it in their mouth. In this case, for, you know, fly fishing. And just so you don't think it's, I'm being weird, like, you know, your kid doesn't want to eat baby food. Plop it in their mouth, you know? Your dog doesn't want a treat that secretly is hiding. Oh, got him. Your dog doesn't want a treat that's secretly hiding medicine. Just, you know, plop it in their mouth. And what we just did right here is demonstrate that principle quite admirably insofar as we just plopped it in this brookie's mouth. So what we're gonna do, small guy, we're gonna wet our hands, super, super soaking wet hands. Relax, guys. This is probably the smallest one of the day. Just gonna pop that hook out of him. Boo! That's not bad. Get out of here, bud. Get out of here. Oh, got one. Got one. Got one. Hopefully he's still on here. Oh. Oh, let's get him. Oh, got him. Whew. All right, let's get him to shore. Take a look at him. Awesome. Another breathtakingly beautiful. Oh, brook trout. He actually plopped right back in my net. That's lucky. Oh, he, he actually went through... He went through the hole in the net. He was that small. Okay, well, that's number six. We're going to count that. We touched him. Kind of sucks. I wish I had more time. It's like a random Tuesday evening. And although it's staying lighter, you know, later and later as we get further into spring, it's just like so many brookies and so little time. Yeah. There goes my fish pond net flying. Flying. Excellent net, by the way. Um, I like wood. Just generally speaking, I'm not a big like composite guy. Like I hate siding on houses. I think we used to build stuff in America and you know, the West, you know, 100, 200, 300 years ago. I think we made stuff to like last. With all that said, this, um, oh, there's a basketball. This uh, fish pond net is really great. Honestly, it's a wonderful net. So now I see trash in the stream. I'm gonna pick it up and throw it out of the stream 
and I know somebody is going to say, bro, you should have threw that basketball in your pocket. Bro, you should have you should have thrown this full-size basketball in your pocket. But you know what? To get it out of the stream, yeah. we got it out of here. And you know what? We're even going to go move it further outside of the water plane because I understand in a flood, the ball could get washed back in. We're going to go move it, but I feel like I just did a good service, so yeah. So you only have a couple hundred yards of stream left that we're going to fish. Definitely losing light, losing light fast. Just little, little section right here that looks good. Got one. He's in the rapids, so he feels big. We're just gonna try to gingerly get him over here. I think this is Brookie like number seven. We got you, not gonna net him. He's a little guy, he's a little guy. Hold on, hold on bud, hold on bud. We got you. All right, cool, so we just got Brookie number seven. Just a little guy, nothing crazy. Still really nice to see. We are really, although it's like starting to like clear up, we're losing light pretty fast. Um, I'm gonna fish like eh, one or two more little holes and then we're gonna uh, call it quits. So with the sun slowly fading and time running out, let's just quick wrap this up. So we're on this small to medium sized freestone stream, really in like South Central Pennsylvania. It's kind of like North South Central Pennsylvania. We're right by a road, a lot of people in trucks out here. Anyways, uh, I think we got six, seven, eight uh, brook trout up to, I'd say the biggest was probably maybe like eight inches that first one. Um, really great day, all on the fly rod. Getting better, getting better. So that's all we got. Uh, thank you for watching and hopefully we'll catch some more fish next time.